Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today from the New York Post, White House decries swatting as dangerous after being hit with fake 911 calling claiming fire. Now you guys know, if you have been a subscriber to the Buzz Weaver channel, and if you're not subscribed, by all means do so now, then you would know that we have been covering swatting for five years. And we have talked about the dangers of swatting and the potential for a person to be killed during swatting. And it has, as a matter of fact, one of our very first stories that we'll get to here in a moment. I'll show you that someone was actually killed as a result of swatting. So it is very dangerous because the police, of course, are responding to what they perceive to be a very dangerous situation. White House Press Secretary Colleen Jean-Pierre condemned the national spree of swatting calls Tuesday after someone falsely reported to 911 that there was a fire at the executive mansion the day before. The bogus calls are creating a danger and risk to our society, Jean Pira said during a virtual press briefing. The trend is obviously a concern to us. She had a really a concern now, five years later. Now, I, you know, maybe they were aware of these things but never really considered the dangers of them, even some of the more recent ones that we're going to talk about now. But fortunately for many of these situations now, the police oftentimes will return a call and call ahead to find out what's going on and see if they can gather information over the phone because swatting is becoming so prominent, specifically targeting particular individual people, which we'll get into. This is something obviously the Secret Service is going to monitor very closely as it relates to us specifically at the White House or this administration. Now, fortunately for the White House, they have Secret Service and probably any of the branches of authority they want to reach out to to help them. However, for everyday ordinary people, that's not necessarily so. Now, reviewing this, you see back in 2019, we covered the Ohio Gamer gets prison time over a swatting call that led to a man's death. So actually, it was uh, uh, an individual who just happened, just absolutely happened to be a young man who was also a gamer, but he was actually an innocent victim. When the claw was placed, the police went to the correct house, but they went to the, to, uh, the well, actually, the police went to the wrong address, something to that effect. But nonetheless, uh, that individual ended up dying when the police responded. And as we have covered in the past from 2022, YouTubers The Quartering, or Jeremy, and Tim Pool, subject to simultaneous swatting attempts. And in the case of Jeremy, I don't think there's been any resolution to it unless of course the courts aren't you know allowing him to talk about it and Tim is very vocal about it because as you can see here uh, well, actually I went to sticks didn't I because as we as we talk about Tim here we were swatted 15 times last year that would have been in 2022 15 times and as persistent as Tim can be and as active as Tim is and as well known within the conservative community, the journalist community, and pretty much all community now, even the music industry, so forth and so on, they have not caught the people doing this. And as I just mentioned now, another commentator who recently got swatted, because Styx has been around doing commentary for a long time, and he was finally swatted. But as you can see here, the police, uh, he wanted to thank the local and state police for calling my mother beforehand and simply doing a basic search and not hauling off and bashing down the door, etc., etc. So the police have started learning who these particular individuals are. For example, like individuals that are YouTubers or social media individuals or, or, or other creator content creators and such so they're you know being a little more proactive with it than what he like it like he said like they used to do where they would come bashing in the door and just you know you know guns blazing and so you know obviously this has been a big problem and i think it's starting to kind of be addressed and then uh we we heard over christmas there was a swatting attempts that targeted uh marjorie, T marjorie taylor green this would be i think her third time that she's been swatted and then Bra uh, brandon w williams these are these are two republicans of course uh, everyone knows marjorie taylor green and um the uh vile hatred people have for her uh by the democrats and then a democrat themselves a boston mayor michelle Wu's home is swatted on christmas day just weeks after hosting controversial no whites holiday party for <laughs> for electeds of color so 
It's an interesting little journey of the five years we've covered it here on the Buzzweaver channel because, as you know, what we do here on the Buzzweaver channel is we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, we take the confusion, and we sit on the edge of societal evolutions with potential predictabilities. Not that I am uh, some guru or prophet. We simply read the news, make determinations, make calculations, make assessments, and we can kind of see the direction that things are going in and it wasn't until the White House was swatted that it's becoming now or having national attention. If you're wondering what that red line is there, it's it's, it's the uh, it's a, like the recording of the call. But for some reason, it doesn't want to play, which is fine because, it you know, I've got it muted. But nonetheless, guys, very interesting. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you are familiar with swatting. Know of anyone who was swatted or any particular people that you follow on social media that have been swatted. So I'd be curious to hear that from you guys. So... As always, guys, really, honestly, you guys there across uh, New Tech as well as here on YouTube, starting it off strong this year. Thank you guys for the continued support. Of course, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, appearing there on the screen, that will be the channel icon where you can subscribe for those of you watching on YouTube, as well as to select notifications. That way you know there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.